Hello and welcome back back in the video another video about Warframe guys as promised uh, the Amesha Arc Arcwing Arcwing that you can go with it in uh, the open space of the Rayjack missions without dying It's like you're carrying Trinity in your back and you know heal me shield me This is the uh, Arcwing for you This is the Arcwing that you will need for a new war I got you guys at the top of the game and check the abilities of this arc wing. Then we take it for a roll and then I show you the build. All right, let's go. First thing first, we have the watchful uh, swarm. This is the first ability. Tiny drones orbit the warframe or an ally and intercept enemy fire. This is like drones. It's gonna be, they're small. You're not gonna see them. They're small, they run around you. They protect you from uh, damage and, uh, and, and uh, your friendly like let's say for example if you are in a party with uh, other players they protect them as well not only you all right so Bene benevolent decoy creates beacon that draws enemies fire converting the damage into healing pulses so you're gonna make a beacon like uh, like a ball you know and this ball is based on uh, radius of course like uh, duration and so on so when you hit this ball you need to hit it three times for maximum duration all right so it's like start 32 you can make it reach like 104 seconds based on this build all right and this one when you get damage it converts it into healing so you're getting healing so now you have drones protects you you got uh, a ball that when you take damage it heals you so you got uh, let's say protection and healings Right, warding grace renders the warframe and nearby allies immune to status effect while slowing nearby enemies. This one, it's maximum slow based on strength, of course, 80%. This is the maximum, and this one makes you immune, you, you and your friends, to status effects. No slash, no toxin, nothing can affect you, and you slow all the enemies near you. Right, and now the ultimate with the vengeful rush, all damage is taken. Is transformed into energy while abilities gain enhanced range, duration, and power affect the warframe and nearby allies. This is mind blowing. Imagine while this one is active, all the damage you're gonna take it's gonna convert into energy. So you're gonna have infinite energy plus you're gonna have extra duration and power that and range. So when you open this one and you get damage, you're gonna have energy resetted. So you can cast you can cast the drones. You can cast the uh, the converting uh, damage to healing pulses you can uh, use the wording uh, gray grace to make you immune to the effects okay so enough talking about this let's take it for a ride if you play rage jack a lot or you play it one time or two time or you join other uh, players in rage jack and you try to uh, go out let's just go just any and you try to go out from the rage jack you find yourself constantly dying you always die, but with this Amesha, you will not die. I promise you, if you follow the build, you follow me, you will not die. And I'm gonna show you right now, all right? If I take my exile, you are gonna die immediately, all right? So this, why the build and why now this uh, Arcwing build? Because uh, as you know, for the new War 15 of December coming after tomorrow, we're gonna be locked into a loadout. We're gonna be using the Railjack, we're gonna be using the Necromech, we're gonna be using the Arcwing, we're gonna be using the Warframe, we're gonna be using the weapons. All once and for all loadout choice. You cannot change it the whole mission, guys. You can stop during the mission, but you cannot change your loadout. So I'm trying, guys, to gear you up as much as I can while there is still time. So let's go. Of course, coming up uh, in the next videos, it's gonna be the uh, Railjack uh, build gonna be the necromech build gonna be warframe loadouts gonna be i'm trying guys to cover up as much as i can before the new war and we're gonna stream the new war the moment it loads i'm gonna be like downloading the update and the moment i go to the update i'm gonna be live streaming so it's gonna be spoiler alert guys all right there we go first thing we do we open the ultimate right so any damage we take It's going to be converted into uh, energy. Look at that energy, guys. All right. Now we open the drones. Okay. Now, second ability, three times 104, as you can see, seconds. There we go. And you can roam. This is the only... Guys, this is the only uh, arc wing 
that can take head to head cruise ships that you can roam with it around in the open space without worry that you're going to die I promise you that guys as much your abilities are active look at this look at this protects my uh, rail jack look at this see that ball 64 seconds that one every time get damage it's gonna be uh, healing me third ability for slow now we need to collect some energy to activate our uh, ultimate you know here you have a uh, recharge you barely get any energy you already guys if you played real jacks before you already know the power of the build you already know now by now you already know the power of this uh arc wing so this is the arc wing i would say take for the new war in your loadout there is no other arc wing i would suggest for you this is it this is the one guys and i'm gonna share with you the build in a moment you can see this if i was with itzal or any other uh, arc wing i would be dead already and there is no no need to test it because you already uh, know guys you saw that bomb that would one showed me if I was in another uh, arc wing. So I, I say it is the right time I share this guys with you before the new war. So you can rush and build this immediately. You can get it from uh, two options. Either you get it with platinum, this arc wing, or you can get it from your uh, dojo. If you don't know what this dojo is, it's a clan where we make researches. All right, our ultimate active. So any damage we take now, we're gonna reset our energy or recover energy. As you can see, guys, you can freely roam. Here we go. Let's go to the cruise ships. All right, look at this, guys. Can you come to close? Can you come close to cruise ship? Can you come close to a cruise ship while you are in another? Uh... You'd be dead already by now. I promise you, you'd be dead if you touch the shield. Look at this, guys. You see this? This is crazy. This is madness. Now you're gonna be ready for the new war. I promise you. As I told you, this is the only Arc Wing can take the uh, cruise ships head to head. This is not few level. This is level 41. You will face something like this for the new war. You're not gonna face something more uh, hideous. All right, guys. What else? That is it. So let's go. Let me show you the build, guys. It's time. So the reason I put it, as I said, I wanted to be ready for the new war, guys. As much as I can, I'm uploading as much as I can. So the previous video was how the best way to level up your arc wing. I make a plan on uh, videos always. So for example, if I make for you a God Mode uh, Warframe, I always do the beginner guide of the frame and then the God Mode of them. So I explain for you the frame. In this case, I uh, show you how to level up the Arc Wing and now I'm showing you uh, Amesha Arc Wing. It's gonna be Itzal and so on and so on in the future, but Amesha is the most important now because this one you're gonna survive with it in the Railjack missions because they say it's gonna be required a Railjack in the missions, guys. Actually, I can show it to you from here. So here we go guys All right, so we're using enhanced durability for 150% health we're using system Ruru plus 40% ability efficiency for less consumption of the abilities efficiency a transferal 30% ability duration Hyperion thrusters 22.5% flight speed energy amplifier for 60% ability range morphic transformer for 20% ability strength and there is a prime mode prime version of the morphic transformer get that one if you can if you have it use that one don't use this argon uh, plating 90% armor uh, auxiliary uh, power energy max guys if you uh, notice there i have two points missing here and two points missing here 
I've been making a lot of builds lately about a lot of warframes. I'm running out of Indu. First of all, second, I, uh, I'm putting the builds and testing some stuff in other uh, RPGs. I don't want to mess down my map if I level up these two. It's not so hard. Like three and five, I already have enough forma on it. Three forma is going to be enough. Three and uh, two, there are five divided on two because there is two uh, formas here. It's going to be uh, three points, so I'm going to have two points uh, extra. So yeah, guys, this is the build. So remember, watchful uh, sword and tiny drones that uh, protects you. Second ability, uh, Renvolent Decoy, that's gonna draw enemies and converting damage into healing pulses. Word, wordering Grace, Surrender Zorfam and Nearby Allies, immune to status effects while slowing enemy enemies. And Vengeful, uh, Rush, all damage taken and transferred into energy while abilities gain enhanced range, duration, and power effect in Warframe and Nearby Allies. How you start the fight is simple. You activate the Vengeful Rush, so you get uh, more energy. You get duration, you get power, you get range, and then you activate the second ability, Benvolent Decoy, three times, and then you activate the Watchful Swarm, and then you activate your Wardening Grace. Now remember, Wardening Grace is an uh, ability that consumes um, uh, energy over time. Alright? So, consider that. Alright? It's gonna be guys, uh, I know guys, you want a Molosan uh, build, you want Necromesh build, you want uh, Railjack build, you want top 5 uh, Warframes for the uh, top five uh, Warframes for the loadout of uh, the uh, new war. I'm trying to do my best guys to deliver. 15th of December is gonna be the new war streaming for you guys. It's gonna be big of ways because we reached already 1000 subscribers and we are partners with YouTube guys. We are officially partners with YouTube. Alright guys. So, all I have to say for me now is don't forget to check the comments below because I always put for you guys extra guides, extra stuff. Check the description for uh, extra links and so on. We have a link in the description for our uh, Discord. Guys, what's left for me to say is thank you so much for your trust and believe in this content. You are the best in your amazing support. And without you, I wouldn't reach this point. I always say it. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.